Hello, I'm Steve Gale, AMOT's engine safety advocate. On March the 23rd, 2005, one of the worst industrial accidents happened in the United States at BP's Texas City refinery. 15 people were killed and 180 injured when a raffinate overflow equivalent to a tanker truck of gasoline erupted from the blowdown drum. 90 seconds later, the vapor cloud ignited. In addition to the human casualties, trailers were damaged, storage tanks were destroyed, and the refinery's ISOM unit was so badly damaged that it was shut down for two years. While the Chemical Safety Board reported a series of human errors that led to the vapor release, a running diesel engine in a pickup truck parked eight meters from the blowdown drum was the source of ignition. You can read the full report at the CSB website. According to the report, two workers sitting inside the pickup truck heard the engine begin to race as it started to draw in the vapors through the air intake system. They tried to turn off the engine using the ignition key, but it didn't stop, so they ran away. Witnesses then saw the truck backfire and ignite the vapor cloud. This phenomenon is called diesel engine runaway. Vapor leaks can happen at any time at any site, and if there's a diesel engine running nearby, there's a risk of engine runaway. This incident led to recommendations by safety groups and regulations were enacted in several countries. In Canada, for example, all diesel engines within 25 meters of drilling wells must be equipped with an air intake shutoff device. Canada also requires all trucks transporting fuel to have automatic air shutoff systems. Other countries have similar safety requirements for their refineries, gas plants, LNG production areas, and upstream production sites. AMOT recommends that safety professionals perform risk assessments where engines are used in areas with potential hydrocarbon releases. So what are you doing on your site to prevent similar accidents? If you'd like to learn more about diesel engine runaway and how to protect your site against it, contact me at steve.gale at amot.com. You can also visit us at amot.com and follow us on LinkedIn for the latest news. Until next time, stay safe.